Have you tried Dubfest OS? If not yet, I'm going to share with you some interesting things about this custom homes and why you should install Dubfest OS if you are looking forward to install this on a device or if you have heard about this one. We have installed the latest version of this Dubfest OS on our devices based on Android 13 having the latest August security badge brings you insane number of customizations. It's a bit different from few of the few of the custom homes and we will talk about all of those things in this video so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. Firstly, the first OS comes with a different launcher by default. In most of the custom rooms, you find that you have the Pixel Launcher or you have the Launcher 3 Base Launcher. But this launcher is a little bit different, which brings you almost the same features like Launcher 3. We have the icon pack support, we have the themed icon supports in App Drawer. Also, the Force themed icon option is also present. You can customize icon size, font size, label size, at a glance widget is fully customizable. I mean to say you can simply disable at a glance if you want to. You have the option for recent panel customizations and last but not the least, we also have the option to hide these apps or protect which means app locker. So almost everything is present. So if you are looking for a custom home in which default launcher brings you insane number of features and some useful things, then this might be a great choice for you. We have the option to do that and if we move on the quick settings panel as expectedly the quick settings panel is in light mode so it doesn't matter if you use the light mode on a device or dark mode on a device then if you use dark mode you will see the dark quick settings panel if you use the light mode you will see the light quick settings panel also if you move on the wallpapers and style options you have the option to customize the system icon packs here for example the archers which is one of my favorite one circular outline etc fonts customizations as expectedly there are many fonts options available for you in the terms of fonts i guess approximately 40 50 fonts i mean there are insane number of fonts options available some icon shapes which you can customize and else this is about wallpapers and styles customizations and if you move on the security and privacy features as expectedly it supports face unlock it supports fingerprint unlock and you also have the option to touch to unlock at any time i mean if you are using side fingerprint sensor and more security settings does not include the app locker but that's available in the default launcher already if you want to change that you will not be able to use the app locker on your device anymore the battery styles also have some good options for you. For example, you can see the iOS style battery indicator and the status bar battery indicator is a very interesting one. The UI is look so amazing. UI is looking so amazing. The iOS 16 style battery indicator is one of my favorite why I use that. And in the clock settings, you can see you have the option to customize the background chip. You can see the left of my status bar right now. The clock background is changing and this is one of the best features of this custom room. I am not saying this is a unique feature but this is so amazing it's present here. It also supports the status bar lyrics option which a lot of custom rooms lack. I mean in Evolution XOS they removed the feature and some of the custom rooms they removed but Duff SOS brings you this one. We also have the option to support the re-ticker notifications. You can simply replace your notifications with the redesigned version of tickers, of course slim and less invasive than a standard notification and a great replacement of heads up notification. Quick settings panel also have the very useful things, for example the hide quick settings in secure lock screen. Most of the users are using the secure lock screen so you can hide the quick settings panel very easily. You have the option to enable the clear all notification buttons too. Animations, this is a very interesting one. You have the Android P animation style. This is the animation. You just have to enable this thing and this kind of animation will be applied everywhere in every third party app, in every system app, in everywhere. Looks amazing. This custom also supports some UI styles by default. The pitch black style, I mean if you use a dark mode, this might be helpful for you. Project Optronic like this one, background etc. Everything will be themed, Shishu themes, the themes which are inspired from bootleggers OS custom room. In my previous video, I was just not able to talk about the bootleggers custom room. That was quite impressive that time. Navigation bar styles is one of the features or one of the things which I don't talk mostly but this looks so amazing you can see the navigation bar styles is chronic style looks so interesting I'm using this right now most of the users use gestures on the device so they don't know about this but this is so interesting one 
we also have the option to customize the brightness slider by the way and these things can be can be done in almost every customer with the help of iconify but by default is interesting of course you don't need to root your device anymore as you can see some brightness sliders look quite impressive last but not the least we also have the advanced monet options so yes you have the option to use your custom monet theming options and if you are not satisfied with the default theming you can use custom colors if you want to these were the things i just wanted to let you know if you want to install it off on os on advice link is available in the description thanks for watching and goodbye